Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa with the stockswish.com, and I'm doing a review here of DDD. I'm actually still in it. I get an award for this today because I've been in it all day. It's almost 3 o'clock. I've given up my whole day today to be in this, and it's really, really, really paying off. So it was a beautiful short this morning out of the gate. Second move didn't follow through, was patient, and then got the third move, which really is ended up being the best move in here, and just trying to... Let me watch my time here one second. Yeah, here this goes. All right. So, anyways, I, I'm still in this. I really think it. I have 100% conviction that it goes to 25.50. Just have to watch my timing here. This could still get down to $25. So there's an hour left in the day. This is this is actually a really nice trade for me. I, this was the one today. And I said after it reset up the third time that, well, actually, I said it the second trade. I said, no chance of failure today. This doesn't fall. No chance of failure. Now, the second trade set up failed. So that's why I retook the third one, because I said, no chance of failure. This doesn't fall today and follow through and continue and break the low and break 26. It's exactly what it said. And I really thought on Friday this would follow through and work. But it wasn't an aggressive short Friday. It was a later setup Friday. Today, you could have been aggressive in it for the first trade. Then you had to be patient for the second move. But on Friday, I really, really thought on Friday that this was one of these ones where the gap could have set up a lot better than it did. It just, for some reason, I don't know if it was because the gap happened so late. It wasn't a Thursday night gap. It was an early morning gap on a Friday. I don't know if that's the reason. Here this goes. It's going to break 70, too. It's going to break 70. I don't know if that's the reason that the, the gap didn't play out right, but it really should have played out right on Friday. It just didn't, aggressively, I'm talking about. But I felt a high level of conviction in it Friday. I thought it was strange it didn't play through on Friday. Let it be. But I definitely had this in a watch for today, and this definitely, I knew, was weak. Now, the market is red here. It's 3 o'clock in the afternoon. The market actually fell, for the most part, today. Did that help this go? No. This would have fallen today and would have dropped and would have broken no matter what the market did. I knew that this morning when I took the first trade. I felt that way about the second trade and the third trade. When you trade in the afternoon, though, I definitely think getting things to larger targets, it helps when you have the market with you. But in the morning, it really doesn't matter. You do not need the market with you in the morning at all if the gap rates per the rating system. And this gap did actually, the stock did actually gap down today. So it actually gapped down Friday and it actually gapped down Monday. Okay. So that's very unusual, but it did do it. I really like this to 25.50. It struggled for so long at one number where traders were trying to buy it. We talked about it in the room. I did such a great job holding it through that push because I knew it was a short. I here it goes. Oh man, this is this is trying. I really I get it. I'm giving myself a round of applause for holding this today. I'm in this all day now, all day, and I'm really getting paid now. Let me just see where this is going. This is a nice trade. I'm not gonna let this bounce against me now here though, because this is I have to see if I can get this under 70. I know it goes to 50 though. I know this goes to 50. So one of the things I was lecturing about in the other in the room, I don't know if it was last week or the week before. It might have even been a month ago. Here, this is gonna break 70. <laughs> wonder here, there it just did. I wonder how many people stayed with this all day. Anyways, the the actual thing it gets to the point where you, as you get better and better and better and better and better is you well have to hold the good ones. You have to hold the ones that you know that, that there's no chance of failure. You have to hold the ones that you know are good. Hold on. Anyways, you have to hold the ones that are good. 
and you. You have to stay with the conviction. Oh my gosh, all right, I'm still in this. You have to hold the ones that are good. Sorry, I was almost going to get out of it, but it's holding. You have to hold the ones that are good to really get paid, and you got to know what those are, but it's not every single gap. Not every gap is the same. I mean, I've been talking about this and talking about this, and it's it, the better that you get, you want to try to hold the trade to the bigger target when you know it's going to go there. I really did a great job with this today, and, and I'm in this until 3 o'clock in the afternoon. This is, like, so uncanny for me, but I, it's, I'm getting paid now, really, and I even did an ad in this. It's a great entry. Maybe I should just go over the rest of this here when I'm out of this. I was going to go over this now. This is just I have to pay attention to what I'm doing. Definitely have to pay attention to what I'm doing. Okay, well, I'm going to review this more specifically when I'm done. I got to I got to pay attention here because I want to try to see if I can hold this longer and I can't talk at the same time apparently. So, this is Melissa with stockswish.com. I will do a final review of the exact entry and exit then of the CDD when we're over, but it was a great trade. I hope really hope the people that were in the room that did this with me held it. I'm trying to hold this through the break, real really break of 70 cuz it has a drop in it and there is an hour left in the day and although that seems like not that long of a time when you look at the whole day. It actually is for this to only drop 70 cents. Here it goes. But 50 is realistic here. $25 is very doable even too. This has been nothing but weak all day. I gotta pay attention. All right, I will post a final video when I'm done with this. Have a great day, everybody. Those of you in the room, I hope you did this. I, I'm still in it. I'm still in it, this is fantastic. We'll definitely review this in the room tomorrow morning. And I will try to do a final video on this tonight if I have time. I don't know if I'm going to be in this till the, till the close or not. It's very rare for me to be in something all day. But in this case, it was worth it. The entry was good. I kept the conviction. And like I said, we did have the market with us this afternoon, which here it goes. Here it goes under 70. <gasps> all right. Let's get the market. The market's got one more drop on it today here. I don't think we really bounce in here. This is going to be a weak bounce in the close of anything. There's the DDD. All right, have a great day, everyone. I'll do a final DDD video at the end. There we go. There we go. Yay. Have a great day, everyone.